Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. That too. In today's video, I've got 10 things that Sam Altman and OpenAI did not point out during the launch of custom GPTs. There are also things that they did not want you to know before using the tool. The loopholes are absolutely shocking. Number 10. Your data is feeding the overall system. We live in a world where data means everything. There are countless stories of companies getting sued for billions of dollars as a result of the sales or malicious usage of user data, so this is not new. The same risk also applies to businesses trying to use OpenAI's infrastructure to design their custom GPTs. Businesses trying to integrate the highly intelligent bot into their system must upload a bunch of data about the business to the AI. Now, while there are several privacy concerns that I'll be pointing out in this video, you should know that this data is being fed to the overall pool of information that ChatGPT and OpenAI have access to. So, in a bid to improve the learning and intelligence of their overall AI system, your data is also used to train this system. And that is just one of the problems that you may be ignorantly exposing your business to. Number 9. Your GPT may leak your information. It is one thing to understand that your data may be contributing to the big brain of OpenAI's ChatGPT, but even your custom GPT could release this information. There have already been multiple accounts of people accessing the custom instructions that were used to build the custom GPT. The interesting part is that it is not very complicated. In one instance, the user just literally asked the GPT what data was uploaded during its creation, and the GPT did not hesitate to release said information. Of course, you can add extra instructions to make sure that the GPT never releases the information you have used in the knowledge base. But unfortunately, some people have also discovered that while the initial response to this is that it cannot reveal the requested information, once you introduce some prompt engineering, the GPT will open up about everything. But it gets worse in number eight, access to personal information. I have already pointed out that the information that you upload to the GPT can be seen by random users. Now, the part you have most likely not heard about is that the files that you uploaded to the system can be retrieved and downloaded. Most people don't pay enough attention to disclaimers, and so this one is easy to miss. The disclaimer reads, if you upload files under knowledge, conversations with your GPT may include file contents. Files can be downloaded when code interpreter is enabled. In simpler terms, someone with enough know-how to use a code interpreter which is a built-in feature of ChatGPT, will be able to download any file on your business that you have uploaded to create your custom GPT. No matter how many safeguards you put in place to keep this information a secret, anyone with intent and the right skills can access said information. Number 7. All roads lead to ChatGPT. Away from privacy now, a big downside is access. You could spend hours or days making the perfect personalized custom GPT, but you are not allowed to embed it on your website. The best you can do with custom GPTs at the moment is to share the link, and instead of a personalized experience, the users are sent to the ChatGPT platform to use it. In an ideal situation, the custom GPT needs a more flexible framework that makes access easy for customers who have come to your website. That moment of clicking off may be heavily unpleasant for the customer experience. Number six, pay to use. If you have been trying to find out more about custom GPTs, then you may already know that building a custom GPT requires a ChatGPT Plus subscription of $20. But this also applies to your customers who may want to use it. Under normal circumstances, the goal of integrating a custom GPT would be to improve productivity for you. However, imagine having to explain to your customers that to access the chatbot feature that can walk them through everything they could need, they not only need to head to an external website, but also pay a $20 subscription fee. As much as we would prefer an API that makes things easier and more accessible for the customer, the company has to make some money somehow, and the subscription is the one way they manage to do so. But more on money later in this video. You want to stick around for that one. Number five is scary for so many reasons, and it is incognito chats. An important part of running a business is having records. Records help you review your processes and find pain points to improve on. Well, 
You should know that if you decide to use custom GPTs, you will never know what to improve on with the chatbot. Custom GPTs do not store, or at least show you the log of conversations that it is having. Considering the aforementioned privacy issues that come with using a custom GPT, it is way more dangerous now knowing that you will never be aware of what information your GPT has given out. Number four addresses an even bigger problem. But before we get there, a chatbot with no chat history means you never know exactly how your customers use your bot. The main objective when it comes to using chatbots is to learn more about your overall customer base and improve your services to them. But building a custom GPT means that you will not have access to any of the useful information that should come with it. Number four, your GPT cannot know it all. There is also a limit to just how much information you can feed the GPT. At the time of making this video, the number of files you can upload to the knowledge base of your custom GPT is capped at 20. So, no matter how much you have to offer, whether in audio files, PDFs, websites, or YouTube videos, all of these are capped at 20. Another cap on top of this is that you cannot have more than 1.5 million words in total. For businesses with a large database that they may need to upload, this creates a huge challenge of not knowing what to pick and what to leave. This is so much worse in the context of not being able to see what your customers are asking about the most to help drive decision making. So, what happens when the GPT is asked a question that is not part of the knowledge base? Well, that is answered in number three. Your GPT may make things up. We already know that there have been multiple occasions of the regular chat GPT making stories up as though they really happened, rather than admitting that it does not have the required information. Well, the same could happen to your custom GPT. Now, in most cases, since the prompts that your users will be sending are quite niche, your custom GPT should naturally be able to pull the responses from your knowledge base. However, as I already pointed out, your GPT may not have all the answers. So, if the GPT cannot find the accurate response to the prompt that a user has sent, it will sometimes go ahead and make one of its own. This could be extremely detrimental to your business, as there is no way to verify when the GPT has cooked up an answer of its own, and also, there is a good chance that the answer is incorrect. Number two is a little shocking, but you may not be able to use your website. Considering that most businesses already have functional websites, it is a no-brainer to be able to add these websites to your knowledge base and have the GPT feed off the wealth of information that you already have there. Well, it does not work as you would expect. Adding your website to the knowledge base of your custom GPT is one thing, but the bigger challenge lies in getting it to use the website. For whatever reason, the AI finds it difficult to process websites and scrub information from them. This is a major limit on just how much you can do with the custom GPT when it comes to providing the best customer experience for your users. But there is one more. The cloud is expensive. Some people are calling this AI's hidden cost, but it is something you need to be paying more attention to. On the back end, these AI tools that we are starting to take for granted are very expensive to run. For AI to work as quickly and seamlessly as they do, there is a lot of high-tech machinery working at full capacity to cater to all your AI needs. While the big companies involved are devising means to control the operational cost of generative AI tools, the speed of innovation in the space means that there is always going to be something new to adjust for. The even bigger challenge is that customers will continue to demand better performing AI tools as we go further into the future, and these will be more tasking and expensive to run. So where does that leave your GPT? Chances are that as accessible as companies like OpenAI want their tools to be, a time will come when it will no longer be sustainable to charge $20 a month for the subscription. Apart from the fact that user visits to ChatGPT are on the decline, OpenAI burns about $700,000 every day to keep ChatGPT running. At this rate, it is either they raise the subscription fee or go bankrupt in a few years. If you appreciate the effort I put into bringing you this content, please show your support with a like. It means the world to me. And check out these videos on your screen that I've selected just for you. Thanks for watching.